Hi everyone, welcome to another video uh, of Try Hack Me Lab. In this video, we are going to talk about SMTP. We are going to enumerate SMTP and we are going to exploit SMTP. Uh, in the last video, I told you like what NFS is and how to exploit NFS with this Try Hack Me room, which we are doing in the series, uh, Network Services 2. And in this video, uh, we are going to do for SMTP. So let's begin. And uh, the SMTP is actually simple mail transfer protocol. So it is used to send mail. So there are basically three main protocols over the internet to uh, do all the email thing. Uh, the SMTP runs on port number 25 and it used to send the email from uh, a client. And POP and IMAP, which is Post Office Protocol and Internet Ma uh, Messaging Access Protocol. Uh, so these protocol allow a uh, user to retrieve incoming mail. Uh, so SMTP used to send outgoing mail and uh, these are uh, used to retrieve incoming mail. So the SMTP server performs three basic functions as we can see that it verifies who is sending emails, it sends the outgoing mail and if the outgoing mail can't deliver, it sends the message back to the sender. So these are the features of SMTP. Similarly, we have POP and IMAP. So I will directly show you how SMTP works. So suppose we have a user and he has an SMTP server, right? And suppose this is a Microsoft office or he is using outlook.com at the rate outlook.com so this is a microsoft smtp server so it will throw uh, that mail to the internet and it will find the suppose this recipient has a, a gmail address so it will find the google's uh, you know gmail's uh, smtp uh, pop or imap server it will throw that email into uh, there and then recipient will receive that email through pop or imap uh, this is the process of how actually these all uh, thing works so user you are sending uh, your mail to mail user agent uh, which is of suppose of gmail and then it will send it to mta which is mail transferred agent of gmail now mta of gmail will find out the mta of microsoft and it will drop the mail to the mailbox. So all the process which happens throughout this happens through SMTP protocol. Now from the mailbox to the recipient or the user, it uses IMAP or POP3 protocol. So this way you can understand the flow of traffic when we send a mail from a sender to recipient in uh, two different, uh, uh, you know, uh, from Gmail to Microsoft or from Yahoo to Gmail. Yeah. So this helps us to better understand how uh, the mail works. You can find it more. I will link uh, an article below in the description so you can check it out. So let's begin with the exploitation part. First is what does SMTP stands for? So it is simple mail transfer protocol. Just submit it. Uh, what does SMTP handle the sending of? So it is emails. What is the first step in this SMTP process? So the first step uh, will be SMTP handshake. You can also find out this answer in this first step. Here you see this initiates the SMTP handshake. So yeah, SMTP handshake will be our first step of the SMTP process. Default port is 25. Where does the SMTP server send the email if the recipient is not available? Okay, so in the fourth step, you can see that if the recipient server can't be accessed or not available, the email uh, gets put into SMTP queue. So our answer will be SMTP queue. Then on what server does the email ultimately end up on? So its server is POP or IMAP. Then can a Linux machine run an SMTP server? Yes, this protocol is independent. Windows is all can run SMTP server. So this is platform independent. Basically it is an open source protocol. Next task is enumerating SMTP. So first of all, I will start the machine and on my Kali, uh, the VPN is already connected. So I will begin uh, with this uh, thing. Using these SMTP commands, we can reveal a list of valid users. And we can this, uh, do this manually uh, with the meta exploit. On the meta exploit, we have a module called SMTP enum. So we can enumerate SMTP with this. So we are just going to start. First, let's run the port uh, scan against the target machine. So I will just copy this and map and just going to do a simple port scan. 
so yeah uh, we can see that our smtp is running on uh, port number 25 from uh, this scan and we can go back uh, the smtp is running on port number 25 that is correct now we have to know what port should be targeting let's start up meta exploit and what commands to use meta exploit we will start the meta exploit and use that uh, smtp version module to find out what um, version this smtp is server is using so msf uh, console is the command to open up uh, the meta exploit and you can type sudo in front of it so sudo msf console so it will take some time to start up so our meta exploit is started as you can see so we have to first find out uh, this smtp version module uh, because we are going to use that for starting a meta exploit what command should we use it is msf console that's correct answer uh, let's search for uh, the module name smtp version so for searching you can simply type search then the module name you can see the name of the module uh, you can just grab this from here uh, you can just copy this back you have to put the module name so we will paste it and we'll see okay it's correct uh, now select the module and list the options to select the module uh, the command is use the module uh, location is zero so use zero so see uh, it changes to the module name now to find the options we can type option in the options we have to select the host uh, ip address target host ip address then the port number which is 25 obviously and the threads so we will uh, use uh, the r host so if we go back select the module we can use so listing the options we have command options and have a look through the options does everything seems correct what option need to be set we need to set our host we can copy this ip address of the smtp server we can go back to the machine we can type set our host and then the ip so now if we see options our R host is set, our R port is set, and our threads are also set. So now what we can do, we can run exploit or we can run run command. So run or exploit. So I'm going to use exploit. It immediately finds out that this server is using this SMTP server, 220 polo SMTP dot home. So correct value of your target machine system mail name is polo SMTP dot home. We will copy this and we can put it right here. Now it says what mail transfer agent is running the SMTP server. This will require some external research. So we'll go to the hint. If I want to send a letter to my friend, I have to dash 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 it. I have to send it, right? So our mail transfer agent will be this post fix is our mail transfer agent. If you see it is running on Ubuntu. So post fix will be our mail transfer agent. That's correct. We now got a good amount of information on the target system. Let's search for module SMTP enum, which, which will enumerate the SMTP server. So we'll just copy this and control C and we'll go to the machine again, exit from here, again, start meta exploit or you can just uh, use that also, but I would like to use a new, a new meta exploit session. So it has started everyone. Uh, so sorry for the interruption. Uh, I, I, I've just, uh, I'm just recording this after one or two hours because there was uh, some background noise in uh, my area. So I'm really sorry for that. Le uh, let's start with uh, this question. So I'm in my meta exploit uh, console. I will search for uh, SMTP enum and here it is. Uh, in the auxiliary scanner SMTP and SMTP enum. So in the question, they asked the full module name. So we will just copy the module name from here and paste it here. Is correct. Uh, now we are going to use this uh, top username shortlist word list from the username su uh, sub selection of security list. Uh, if you have never installed it, you can install with the apt install sec list. Uh, so they are list of some passwords. So they will really help you to figure out uh, all the things. Uh, but in this uh, option, we will select the option for this. Mm, sorry, options will be the command. Uh, so sorry, first we have to, uh, I forgot to uh, add use zero. So we will use this SMTP enum and then in the options we have to fit our host. 
our port is already 25 uh, user file is this one unix uses or txt by default it is there so yeah we can also search from this list also and the search uh, the list which uh, they have provided like this checklist slash username we can do from that list also so uh, here is an update like that this unix user were taking was taking a lot of time so i set the user file to uh, user share word this checklist usernames and then top username shortlist.txt so this was my file so as soon as i set this file up and i ran so i got the username which is administrator so you can run uh, this file this particular file you can uh, use this security list uh, to get it as soon as possible so user is administrator here so the username is and uh, not this one sorry administrator is correct so now we have the username and we have a lot of details about this ssh with version it is uh, using and we also tried S smtp num and we enumerated and we found the username now it's time to exploit this smtp server so let's go ahead and do that we have a user account name uh, the type of smtp yeah we have the both the things now uh, we are going to use hydra to find out the password from this rawq.txt list so this is a pretty useful command hydra a tool i already taught in my uh, previous video i think uh, and hydra um, lab we already did in this try hack me so you can find out that video on i button so i'm just going to uh, copy this command and just uh, we are going to see uh, that thing so i'm just going to exit the meta exploit now because we don't need it we can run it with hydra so i'm just going to uh, copy paste the command we are using ssh uh, our server is 10 10 52 144 as you can see and our uh, we are using this uh, password list and username we are using is administrator so thread r16 so that we can find out the password as quickly as possible now let's run it so the hydra is running and it is trying different password with the login name administrator and different password the common password list it should find out the password pretty soon so yeah it is targeting right now let's see let's wait for a couple of seconds hey so this is exciting uh, we have find out actually the password of this smtp server which is a l e z a n d r o so this is a pretty common password and uh, with the help of rawq.txt we found out the password for this smtp server so now we can ssh into it okay the command is ssh space administrator at the rate ip address and we are accepting the fingerprint sorry for the background noise so it will ask you uh, for the password and password we have already find out uh, that uh, what is the password is so we are just going to a-l-e-z-a-n-d-r-o a-l-e-z-a-n-d-r-o and as soon as we got the password yeah we have we are into the administrator at the rate this smtp server which name is polo smtp so let's see whether it has some file or not uh, okay it has a dead letter mail directory and one smtp.txt i think this is the flag so i'm just going to cat the smtp.txt okay we have the flag now i'm just going to hide it uh, so yeah you can copy that flag and you can paste it on to the try hack me and the password of user was a l e j a n d r o and here uh, we have correct answers and we have completed the exploiting smtp part so in the third part we are going to understand what mysql is what is how this database works and also we are going to enumerate and exploit mysql so in the next video uh, of this series we are going to do that so be prepared and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye